I'm Coa Smith, professional surfer, dreamer, and coffee maker. And we're in my underground lair, and I'm about to unbox some cool stuff. Welcome back, you guys. Today, we have an exciting episode. We have this medium-sized box here that I'm pretty sure I know what's inside of it. Let's just dive right into it. Oh, this is an RC surfer right here. He almost is my twin. He's goofy foot, but he has brown hair, so he's kind of like my brother. Growing up, I've always wanted to test one of these things out. The small little waves that you can't quite fit inside, but you can be on the beach and let this guy live your dreams. He looks exactly like my brother, wouldn't you say? He looks exactly like Alex. This thing looks legit. Let's see what the box tells us. That is actually Pipeline. We could get him in that position today. He's got a stance that he's ready for anything. You can do backside hack, frontside barrels. His form's great. Let's open it up and see what we got inside. Package number one. Let's see what we got in here. Two. I am not one to read instruction manuals. I'll try to just piece it together, kind of like a Lego set, and as soon as I'm wrong, I'll be like, oh, okay, open it up. All right, A3 goes to AB. Let's try to get as far as we can without it. The racing controller. It's got a little spinny thing. Forward. Gonna have to stand on the beach and really get to, get to know him here. Throttle trim to the highest. Battery, we got batteries. Oh. Ready for the reveal? Oh, hold it! Welcome to the world, my friend. Wow, look at how chill he is. You wouldn't want to snake this guy. He's got a neck brace because we will be testing his neck strength. He's got a cool uniform, I'm a little bit jealous. He looks like a superhero. And it looks like he has his name on the back, RC Surfer, and his age, 1999. Wow. Got some pukas on his feet. This is where he does his cheat codes and you just kind of uh, strap him in. Maybe put some foo wax under here. Make him stick. By the way, this guy needs a name. RC Surfer was his factory name. Now he's born into the surfing world. Let's give him a proper entrance. So here's this James Bond shred stick, all black. I mean, this is for, I imagine when you turn this knob here, this will turn back and forth, so. Paisel, what do you know about this tail rudder, man? I don't have these on my boards. Let's figure out how big this board is. If I'm crouched and I'm riding like what I'd ride at Tavarua, an 8 -0. Look at he matches his craft. See, this guy knows what he's doing. I'm excited to see what kind of engine's inside here. Let's stick this board up. The reveal. Boom! I don't know what I'm looking at here, but looks like this is where the battery attaches. Looks like this is a cute little engine. I'm not opening a manual. I just feel like this tool is weird. Blame it on the tool. I'm not gonna lie, this is gnarly. I feel like I'm doing surgery right now. I finally am getting it 20 minutes later. We are going a little to the left of Pupukea. There's its own little sandbar, perfect for this guy. I, I don't want to weave the crowd until I, I'm really good at using it.
Well, you guys, it was pretty crazy out there. We put him into some tough Hawaiian conditions right off the plane, and he got one good wave to talk about, but after one wave, suffered a serious knee injury. We're talking ACL, MCL. It's gonna be radical. It's gonna need duct tape. So this thing's coming in at $220. If you were taking it out to T Street or a pool, it could be fun. We're in the two shaka range out of five. I mean, my excitement levels were high and I was so excited to put this thing to the test. But after one short break pounding, he broke his knee. I'm a little bit disappointed. It would have been worth it if it would have handled the stress test. So can someone please make me one of these that can handle? I want to take this out every single day and get footage that everyone wants to see. Who doesn't like to unbox things? You never really know what's inside. You have a little expectation sometimes, but it always blows your mind. Like this, I know it's a GoFoil Hydrofoil, but I don't quite know how it's gonna change my life yet. I'm hoping this is the new GL series. A lot of my friends have been doing these crazy downwinders in the middle of the open ocean. No room for air. If you fall, you're paddling in 30 minutes. I haven't quite been able to keep up. Sometimes it's hard out there to connect the dots and you need that little extra edge. Is this my extra edge? Is it an extra large extra edge? This is a big box. Ooh, uh, it's got my name on it. It's got my name on it. A hydrofoil surf setup consists of a mask, a fuselage, a front wing, a really important back wing. You could open a box with it for sure. This could be a box cutter. <laughs> this is all carbon graphite, really light. This right here, is the GL180 wing. This is a high aspect wing. It's got a short depth to it. A basic foil that you might see will have a lot of room here. Basically with these bigger foils, you don't need it and it creates so much lift in the water. This is what people are using to ride wind chops. You can even pump in flat water. It's just crazy that like, a couple years ago, we didn't even know that this existed. 30 years ago, layered, Terry Chun, Rush Randall, those guys were pioneering foiling, but their setups were so different. They had like 10 foot steel rods that they would sharpen. About three or four years ago, Alex from GoFoil created these foils that just go on your prone surfboard and you can just surf around on it. Paddle into waves and foil the waves, where before you're strapped into snowboard boots, you need jet ski assist. I remember seeing footage of Kai Lenny doing this and I was just like, mind blown what is going on. It's a clip of him at Tavarua and I talked to him about it and he told me he got a wave and he was so psyched that when he kicked out he went to like claim it and that momentum brought him back out and he's like oh my gosh I can just keep pumping and he kept pumping and then he connected the next wave and the next wave. It's progressed so much from there. Now we have single fin boxes we can connect our mast to and they make wings that are so big that you can kick out a waves and just pump as far as you can in the middle of the ocean, connecting little baby wind chops and riding the entire coastline. What I'm hoping to do with this thing is paddle out the sunset, catch a little wave in the surf line. People won't even see me. I'm gonna kick out, pump out to sea, connect little wind chops, boiling into the sunset, out with the whales in the shipping lanes. And the next time you hear from me, I'll be hitchhiking back from Australia. <laughs> All thanks to this little carbon wrapped blue beauty. Say that 10 times back. Carbon wrapped blue beauty. Carbon wrapped blue beauty. Carbon wrapped blue beauty. <laughs> carbon wrapped blue beauty. Right here. Remember, this could be your leg. As soon as I finish my celery, we're gonna put this thing together. Round goes down, round goes down. This little washer, believe it or not, if you put it in the front, creates so much lift. And if you put it in the back, it creates a little bit more dive so that you can ride bigger waves. We're gonna leave this out. So this is the sharp part. This is what can chop you in half. But fortunately, it's behind you. So you move this way. Slide this puppy on. Worked. Tail wing assembly. Assembly. 
I'm really learning my English in this show. This 180 wing is gonna enable me to go downwind. Then this 240 wing should let me do a dock start. We're gonna try both and see what happens here. First try, I was like, let me just test this out. Started pumping out to the middle of the ocean. First ride, I was up for over a minute, just kind of weaving around, testing her out. But my second ride was maybe like 25 minutes long. I went all the way to Waimea. It was like so crazy, but then the wind died. And then I was like, just working it, working it. And then I couldn't do it anymore. I fell, it took me 20 minutes to ride that one. I was just out there like this with the flying fish flying around me. After a while, you get onto a wave and you connect it to the right, you connect it to the left, connect it back to the right. This, I didn't have to work as hard. I just did one pump and it would like go. Where the other one, I'm like <gasps> And this is just like, it's taking me there. I can kind of stand, get my breath, and then push to a new wave, recover, get my breath. I'm psyched. I want to go right now again. Let's go. We're going to Double Rainbow Bridge here in Haleiwa. I'm gonna see if I can flat water pump. Oh, this is dock start potential right here. Is it dock start or is it rock start? Koa is about to do a dock start off the Double Rainbow Bridge with his foil right now. All right, ready? Maybe run a little longer, get more momentum. Sometimes you can. I think when I dock started, I pushed like, had even more momentum. My back foot connected in the right spot. And then I almost hit the bottom, like, pa, pa. But then I got the momentum. Once I got going, this thing was so fast. It worked already on flat water with the 180. Now I'm gonna test out the 240, the world's biggest wing. It's on my board. Let's see what happens here. it's happening the marathon foil is about to go down we're attempting never done before from turtle bay all the way to mokulia we do have jet ski assist but the goal is no falling test of the legs and the mind i'm really nervous jess is going surfing i'm kind of nervous too but a different nervous exciting <laughs> all right you know warm up here That was a crazy adventure. I'm so exhausted right now. Usually I fall in the middle of the ocean and have to paddle in like 30 minutes. With this wing, it was a little forgiving. So if I made a mistake or two, I could still fly. It got me from point A to point B. My legs are burning, but I am now officially a downwinder. I'm not the best downwinder in the world. This equipment made me one of the best downwinders in the world. Some of the wind chops started at like four inches and then we were dropping into waves that were solid. The safety mechanism is going right. So we're like tacking out to sea, connecting a little wind chop that connects into a swell that make it so you can rest and recover as long as you can. Because this is so crazy on your legs. It's like a crazy leg workout. Overall, this is a no brainer, five shocker review. I mean, look at what we're doing. We're catching little wind chops and able to fly across the open ocean. 
two years ago, this wasn't even happening. Such a blast just to have this wing to allow us to go out there and do that. I mean, the waves weren't even breaking today, and usually I wouldn't even surf. But now, we got the foils out, and it's a whole new psych. I feel like I'm learning how to surf again. I'm so stoked. If you're stoked on this episode, head over to worldsurfleague.com to see more, or click the link in the description below. Aloha. We want to hear from you. What should I unbox next? What do you want me to break down? What do you want me to try? Because I'm down for pretty much anything. Stay tuned, we got a lot more unboxing coming your way. On this show, we love to share the stoke. So some of the items I unbox will be donated to the North Shore Community Land Trust. The items will potentially be available at their annual auction, which raises funds to help them protect and enhance the natural landscapes, cultural heritage, and rural character of the North Shore. Do you like that? Well, if so, subscribe over there and then watch more videos over there. And then tell us your favorite videos down there. It's a three-step process. Do them all now.